Welcome back, Agent Nation. My name, of course, is Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. For our first story of the day, Roger's internet is ass. Just woke up, and my internet ain't working. What the f I'm tired of this, yo. Just, I don't know why it's a story. It's a story to me. For our next story of the day, I'm hopping on Fortnite with CD and the third, Cypher PK and Jazz Cartier, 1 p.m. on Facebook, probably around the time this video goes out. So if you're not there, you're not already following my Facebook, do that. Number three is gonna be a real story. For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe my eyes. Cause I was watching this NBA 2K celebrity event or whatever it was, an event, Ronnie 2K was involved in said event, and he was frustrated with an animation his player got in a specific circumstance, and he said this, roll it. Big blast of thrill, man. What? What? Why did his animation go straight up? No, we straight no more fouls, y'all. No more fouls. Good foul. They don't shoot threes and then I, I couldn't believe my eyes, guys. It made me so happy to see Ronnie was one of us. Ronnie knew there was some animations that was incredibly frustrating, and he voiced his concerns, and I'm sure he immediately regretted it when he did it on stream because I was watching, and I was like, what, Ronnie? That's what we're doing now? I thought you weren't allowed to do that because you work for 2K. <laughs> Anyway, I thought, it was, I thought it was funny. You might you might have wanted to see that. So, okay, for our next story of the day, a quick reminder, Rogers internet is ass. Okay, sorry, that's not a start. Okay, real story. NBA Playgrounds 2 is now going to be called NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. Now, do you guys remember NBA Playgrounds? It was a fun little arcade game reminding you of NBA Jam a little bit, and it did fairly well. I think it sold around 400, 500,000 copies on Steam. Uh, the first rendition at least. So Saber Interactive, who is a pretty well-known developer that was developing the game, was like, yo, let's make number two. And in number two, they had all these new features they were gonna add, and then they just randomly delayed it so incredibly close to the release date. And I've never seen that from any other game. It's very rare. The, the circumstances in which it was delayed was weird. So I thought the game was gonna be canceled. Cause usually if a game was gonna be delayed, they would give you a future date. We didn't get no future date. Now we're finding out NBA 2K bought it, and that's why everything was so hush-hush weird. So, um, I think that means there might be more microtransactions in it when we get it. It also means that Xbox One and PS4 should expect to see it, because it will definitely be porting over there if the game is being published by 2K. And hopefully that means that the game is more polished, that... A 2K didn't buy Saber Interactive, right? Because that would have been really big, because you would have gotten all those experienced devs who don't know much about basketball development, but they've developed other games like, uh, they developed one of the Halo Master Chief Edition games. They developed a few other popular games that you might have played before. I thought they might have taken all of those developers and I thought that'd be huge, but they just bought the IP. They just bought NBA Playgrounds 2 from them, so they'll be releasing it as NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. Which, I, whatever, who cares? I hope it pans out. NBA 2K is not a good look that when you buy a company, everybody's like, oh man, well, this sucks. They're gonna ruin it. So I'm just saying in terms of your brand, you might wanna work on your brand a little bit. A lot like when EA buys a dev team, everyone's like, oh man, EA's just gonna shut down that dev team in four years, cause that's what they do every single time they buy a dev team. I'm just saying work on your brand, all right? It's not a good look. For our next story of the day, Mike Ryan was putting out some gems on his Twitter and uh, it had a lot to do with NBA 2K19 gameplay, so let's read out a couple of his tweets. Roll it! Random 2K19 info, if you have a trailing defender holding LT or L2 will trigger a hold off, which is like a Chris Paul-like crab dribble that will allow you to seal the defender behind you for a bit. Great for cutting defenders off and opening up a driving lane to the rim, which is dope, right? If you're running a shotgun set, this is fantastic. Now that you can keep things running gun, guys can't just chase you down and go for these blocks all the time. Now you can use a cool little crab dribble, maybe com combine it with a floater. Just, I like that, ain't nobody asked them to do this, but they added it into the game. As long as it's not like a broken animation or incredibly overpowered, I'm happy it's in the game. Shout out to Mike Wayne, bro. Y'all thinking of the little things, it seems. One more nugget for today. You can branch to dunks from Euro, Cradle, Hop Step, and Spin Gathers. Just kick off one of those layup types 
and keep R2, RT held. Kind of tough to pull off, but a very cool addition for Elite Slashers. Now, when Mike Wanks is kind of tough to pull off, I feel like it's going to be incredibly easy to pull off because I don't think Mike Wanks is good at his own games. But that's just me. Hey, Mike Wang, thank you for adding all those. He also added, forgot to mention yesterday, you could also branch to floaters from your old cradles, hop, steps, and spins. Can't forget about the little guys. So, I, that's cool. You could branch to dunks and your old steps off. Hey, I hope it's not overpowered. It does sound overpowered to me. Because to start 2K18, I don't know if you guys remember, like the first few months, Euro steps were unstoppable. You could be a sharpshooter, Euro step in front of four people, and it would drop. It was insane. So as long as all those kinks are worked out, great additions, excited for 19. For our next story of the day, NBA 2K is bugging with their overall system, right? And it's not just me who's noticing it. Ha hey, has Tatum get an 87? Did he get it? I think he got an 87. DeRozan has an 89. What, Cat had a 91? How is Cat a 91? Someone please start explaining this to me now. NBA 2K, and they, they usually do a pretty fantastic job of very little bias in rating these players, but it just seems like they're rating all these players purely based on potential. If you're going to rate Jason Tatum based on last year, he had a great playoff run, but what people were excited about, about his playoff run was he was just beginning. He had so much potential, but he's not there yet. And I think it's so premature to put Kemba at an 86 and to give Jason Tatum an 87. It's ridiculous how to... Kemba was an all-star last year. And I don't think he deserved it. I think Ben Simmons did. But he was an all-star last year. So I'm just saying, 2K, yeah, yeah, what, your overall system is bugging. This is the first year where I can say it's bugging. But now the Raptors got Kawhi, right? We got a 94 overall, so it's straight. I'm fine. For our next story of the day, you're going to hear the story, and you're going to be like, Agent, this is not a big story. But then you're going to see it, and you're going to be like, are you serious? That happened? So let's get into it. Authentic African, who's a really good NBA 2K player, in the NBA 2K League, plays for the Grizzlies Gaming. He broke the single game points record, and you might be thinking, Agent, that's not massive news, but it is though, because you got to see the way he did it. He dropped like 80-something points. It might have been in the 90s. I don't know. It was double or triple overtime, and for the entire overtimes and regular, regular match, dude was running a straight five-out set. I literally did not see him pass to his teammates once. And you see this a lot when you play regular prime, especially once you start to get in the competitive realm, because people really just want to win. So they get four other four other pylons, and they just do L stick cheese and blow buys and snatchbacks, and it works. It wins games. But we haven't seen it in the NBA 2K League until now. And so I thought, whoa, okay, cool event. Authentic African goes big, scores like 80 or 90 points. They still lose the game because they were playing against 76ers Gaming and those guys were just put on a show. Steez was on fire. 76ers win the game. And then the NBA YouTube account uploads the highlights all hyped like this is a single season record. Are you guys amazed? And everybody was looking at them like, are you bragging that this happened? Because there's one thing for it to happen. And 5-out has been happening more since the NBA 2K League patch because for some reason the 2K League guys didn't ask anybody who played 2K. They just did something. And so now everybody's using the same build across all the teams and more teams are doing 5-out. Besides the point, it was just hilarious to see that for whatever reason the NBA 2K League was so excited by that performance. Even though anybody who plays 2K is like, oh my, that is the exact team you hate to play because they play incredibly cheesy. And I mess with Authentic African, but the way they uploaded and titled it, I was just like, ah, oh, why are they doing this to themselves? Because the whole comment section was roasting them about the blow buys. It's like they don't even know their own game, man. It was incredibly frustrating. It's just like, come on, man. Come on, man. Anyway, congrats to Authentic African. Congrats to 76 Gaming for winning that game. Uh, it, it was a really funny and controversial moment, for sure. For our final story of the day, there was a YouTuber, I don't know if he was a YouTuber or a streamer, he used to be in the 2K community, a dude called iHezzy. Now, he was playing in the Fortnite skirmish yesterday, and the second he reached first place, I immediately began to hear about it. They're like, yo, Agent, this guy from the 2K community is balling now, and he's competing in competitive Fortnite versus professional players like Daquan, like, uh, it, it, just think of the biggest players Hamlins was playing, right? Just keep going. Can you think of players from Fortnite that are really good? All right, though. Oh, oh, my internet's back. My internet's back. It's back. 
And so he eventually ended up winning the entire event and won like $54,000. He got hoed at the event because the entire time the event, the casters and everything were like, first person to 13 points wins the event. They were the first people to reach 13 points, but in the same game, another duo reached like 16 points. But they were the first to reach 13. I was like, yo, how could you hold him like that? But anyway, I was incredibly proud that whole time. I was like a dad and shit. Uh, it was nice to see somebody come up that was used to grind 2K and everything like that. And also, it was impressive because you guys know 2K is not a high skill gap game. But there's a lot of guys playing other games that are doing incredibly well competitive. And it's like, yo, we got a lot of grinders on the 2K scene. It's good to know. Anyway, it made me really happy. I felt like you guys might want to know a story like that. And then Daquan added him. Uh, high Distortion added him, I think. Anyway, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to get picked up, even if it's from a small organization soon. Because I don't know why any professional organization that still doesn't have a team wouldn't want a player that good on their team. Anyway, that's it for the stories. Uh, we're about a month away from the prelude launch. Gets me excited. Also means that we can expect to see some more trailers and some more information leak out from Mike Wang and the whole crew. If you guys enjoyed the video, you haven't already, drop a like. Again, that Facebook live stream is going to be at 1 p.m. today. I hope I can upload this in time because the internet is OD bugging. I'm going to catch you guys later. I'm out. My voice is off, so I just need to rest. And what do people do when their voice hurts? Relax? I can't do that. Let's grind, baby. I'm out. Peace.